Hello everybody, it's Nelly here, and today we're going to be playing another classic RPG horror game. Oh god, the music's not on. <laughs> I'm off. I have never played it. I just heard how, like, infamous it is in the RPG Maker community, and uh, I want to play it. So, uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. New game. The translation team would like to dedicate this third and final version to the English of the memory of Felix the Judge with a piece we love. Hmm. Caution, it's possible that certain scenes may, may prove shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. The soundtrack and sound effects of off created by Elias Conrad Cole are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Unproductive fun time. Enter my name! What shall my name be? Should I just go with Nelly? Yeah, we'll go with Nelly. Or the batter. The batter. Cause that's I'm a we're gonna name. The I'm just gonna name him the batter because I just wanna I think that I just think. the right hey where's the space the ba ba batter okay your name is the batter correct no. Ah, fuck. Uh, there's no space. God damn it. What do I mean? Whatever. Oh, I could have just. Uh. God damn it. Okay. Uh. Your name is the batter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm a boy. I rather. <laughs> it's either this between this one or this one. Fine, old boy. All right. Welcome to the welcome the batter. Uh, you have been a sign of being called the batter. The batter is on a mission. Be sure it's accomplished. I'll let you both out in zone zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the judge. Oh, off. Ooh. To move my body, use arrow keys on your keyboard. Interactive environment, use a space bar, enter the key. Oh, look, look at him! Look at him! He's a- oh my god, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Oh my god, okay, I just go up. Zone zero. And I heard this game is like four to six hours long, so I might just- So I'm not gonna play for like a long time. Oh, well, I won't finish it in one episode. Hello! Hello. There cannot be any living beings in Zone Zero. Hence, I deduce that you're a pure figment of my imagination. Now, let me give up the voice. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'll introduce myself. Oh, I do not like that. I am the. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear Lizrian Interlocutor. I am the batter. Wait, but I'm named the batter. We both can't have the same name. Pick. Well, someone has to change. I've been entrusted with- I've been entrusted with a sacred mission. It is a pleasure, although it was not the body I was addressing, but the soul that it harbors. What is your name, controller? His name is the batter, he can't talk to us. <laughs> His name is the batter, he can't talk to us. However, he can see and hear everything. Oh, so we're like a- Not a- not omnipotent. I get- well like- well like a- like a third person. Although you, although you two are imaginary in my in specter in my eyes, leave it. Let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear the batter, <laughs> dear the batter. I believe we need your. I believe we need your help. Many people are now in my services. You know, everybody loves cats. Yeah. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what kind of, what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is any help to you. Thanks. Damn. We're both in the batter, bro. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was gonna name this character, because I was like, it's the batter. Seems the batter. It's possible to get around this obstacle. 
Well, no, it's not. There's like a little space. You can just maneuver. A lucky luck ticket is good for Hello? Quite peculiar. Quite peculiar. Allow me to inform you that uh, that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorical being. Might you be in fact to be a person of flesh and blood? I think so. Then I was mistaken from the beginning, and you did not even interrupt me in my fanciful phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given to encounter in this place. I had incidentally concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. It was all too obvious that I was led astray. However, there exist another zones, and those territories hostile individuals might attack you violently. Your sacred mission is likely to lead you to these lands. Would you like to me to acquaint you with the art of violent confrontation? Yeah, I don't know how to play. I don't know, I might everything. Purification and process. This is the battle screen. As you observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of a combat, a choice will be presented to you. You will decide between attack and auto. Naturally, attack allows you to engage the fight in a classical fashion. If auto is your choice, the computer will make the strategic decisions in your place, turning you into a simple spectator. But now, it is time to make an attempt. Choose attack to select the batter, then choose attack anew to slay me with your bat. Do not utilize auto function. The computer will not restrain itself, and I fear I would die, taking my secrets with me to the grave. But I don't want Okay, fine. Oh, it does the same, like, a time. Okay. It does the same, like, time thing. Okay. Competence? Objects flee row. Okay. Excellent, dear sport comedian companion. Know that both the level of the batter and that of his opponent determine the impact of the results. It is also possible, possible for you or your adversary to slightly avoid the offensive moves they will exchange. Finally, on occasion, your your concrete will allow you, may allow you to release a critical strike, causing teeth to fly in heaps. But let it let us proceed, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you first choose attack upon selecting the batter, a new window opens itself in the lower right corner of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack lets you carry a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special talents. Objects let you use the inventory you can, you're presently carrying. Finally, flee is the option of the coward. While I dehort from this alternative, know that only the batter may select it from his personal menu. So let's attempt to utilize an item. Take the luck ticket and graciously use it on the batter's person. A luck ticket is fine. Oh god, that fucking... Impeccable. You're a master of the battle borders on our brilliancy, my friend. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I'm, of course, talking about competences. There are, generally speaking, special moves that trigger surprising effects. It may be that they are particularly powerful attacks or such that they intrude induce as a resurgence of health points. Nevertheless, how know this. Any use of competences leads to a consumption of, com of competence points. So I suggest the users go with par parsimony. Once your SP are consumed, it will be impossible to carry out these heavy assaults. And if, by some mischance, you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent but before recovering some CP, your victory will be uncertain. But let us try anyway. Choose competence and try using wide angle, which, it which will allow you to analyze your enemy. The judge. Cryptonic cryptic feline mod appearance. <laughs> you now know all about my attributes, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle, know that it analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it will, may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked down for a long time. The confrontation ends theoretically when the health points of your team or all of your points fail to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career of purification. Okay. From now on, you'll be ready to disperse all those impure obstacles that dare appear in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows on an innocent cat. Be as be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you want me to be as your guide. Oh, he flowed. Oh shit. Oh, but. Huh. Oh, okay, I solved the puzzle. What the fuck? Out of five. What?
It's impossible to get around there. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, nice. Uh, finally, after all that effort, the long-awaited reward makes its entrance to the scene. <laughs> oh, he's just eating his food. Crunch, crunch, nom nom, crunch. Oh, we're just okay. So for flesh, flesh. Oh wait, there was a thing. Four, four, eight, two, eight. What? Four, four, eight, two, eight, seven. Four, four, eight. Oh, that's nine. Pfft. Two, seven, five. Wait, what? Four, four, eight, two, eight, seven. Four, four, eight, two, eight, seven. Oh, nice. Nice! Gimme! Here we're- here we have an accessory that will prove especially useful to your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and support, support a friend. There's a cube floating in the air, as you have probably noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from its ilk by the contrast of its clashing colors, assaulting your gaze with bad taste and defying any sensible course of plastic arts. But do not judge it too quickly, however, for despite its criticisable Appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from restoring the entity of your health and competence points, it's capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. Nothingness is a place of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try for yourself in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted island. Open your wings, smite your companion, and fly towards the flowing zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is a fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry yourself. I too travel much between the different zones in the world. Perhaps we will meet again. Oh, and by the way, take this. This is an item of curious name. Will be the key that shall permit you to enter zone one. Have I clarified? Yeah. I think a card. Health points and competence points. Return to the nothingness. World map? Oh, what the fuck? Damn, this is creepy. Okay, um, um, I'll. Oh. This is cute. Who's waiting here? This is cute. Oh, this is cute. Elson? That's creepy. Tramway number one is very useful means of transport to get to the different areas of zone one. Damien, I guess? Zone one. Tramway number two hasn't been coming for a long time. Oh! Um, uh, a visitor? Uh, um, welcome to the smoke mines. Uh, may I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I come to exterminate the impure spirits. 
powder? The impure spirits? Or some sort of prophet? Perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. I... who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by the batter. Oh, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior personnel. Oh, hell yeah! In any case, that's good. That means our requests have been approved. Thank you. Come, I'm going to explain your task. Oh, I disappeared. Oh, I like the art style, though. I like the hand-drawn stuff. Um, you're in the swag mines of Damien and south of zone number one. Damn, I like, I like the art. Here we send la laborers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground, freeing trap smoke from the depths. Using various tools, we put some of it into bottles, which the queen sends to other zones. The rest of it flows free and forms the air of our lungs, inhale and exhale, so uh, we can live. Is an essential element, the first among the four elements. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. Uh, there we are. And so, well, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? Ah, uh, yes. There we go. There are many specters in the mines, and they're getting more and more aggressive. But, uh, in fact, it would be good if you wouldn't go there because the regulations forbid access to the smoke room mines for visitors. So, uh, here's what we're gonna do. There's an annex tunnel that no one ever goes to, but a miner went in there some time ago, and he saw something strange. He said, nothing like the usual, so I thought maybe that's the leader of the specters. So, and so, here we are. If you accept, you'll go into the annex mine and kill the leader of the specters. Then the specters will disappear, we can work properly again. There we go. There, uh, do you have any questions? Nope. Great. Impeccable. The tunnel's right down there. Me, I'll wait for you here. Okay, what's here? Oh, hello. A luck token. Soon I'll be promoted. I'll be able to serve in Sinalma. I'll make sure for that to happen. Chair! Look, so tiny chair. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Let's go. Do you understand? Okay, we just go here. Okay. Oh, it's the cat. Oh, well, well. What do we have here? It's not the batter and his charming jumping jack, the batter. <laughs> Maybe the specter's leader? Ah, no, no. Certainly not. I'm only passing through. And I don't like the smoke which is being extracted from this pale metallic pipe. However, I believe and I know where the one you take for an ectoplasm can be found. To tell the truth, I am perplexed. I think it is one of those peculiar things called a spherical add-on. I have very well tried to appropriate it, but the operation has systematically failed. But I am thinking, maybe you, one who is not a physical matter, may perhaps succeed in binding the spiritual entity to yours. I invite you to attempt retrieval. I don't know if this has joined you. What an exceptionally intriguing phenomenon. I must admit that I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. Fair enough, since it has been decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best possible use of it. Got it. The leader of the specters isn't here? Apologies, but I fear I have to respond in the negative. This add-on aside, I have not crossed paths with a single moving soul in this place. There's nothing here. Hey, you liar! So have you killed the Leo Spectres? No, it wasn't there. Oh, really? I bugger. Crap. I well, then I'll, I believe that I'll have to let you enter the man's scourges then. But uh, the regulations are against it. All right. I suppose this is a very special case, as I stated in paragraph five. So uh, good. Well, the main mines are on the right. There. Yeah. There are phantoms down there. They keep us from moving properly. But this is the break time anyway. What are you doing here? Are you a part of the Meyer inspection personnel? Nope. Oh, uh, nope. You come to eliminate the specters? That's good news. The lamps don't always work in the end most corridors. Since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. 
There are phantoms in all the tunnels. Be careful, sir. And besides, who has let you enter here? Normally, the regulations prohibit external visitors. Whatever. Show yourselves, corrupted children. I am the voice of forgiveness that eliminate you ill-fated forms. Oh. Oh. Prepare yourselves to receive my judgment. Oh. Oh, this music! Oh, this music's funky. Oh, it's one. Series purified. 400 XP. This add on is fighting by my side. That's useful. Let's purify the other galleries. It's like a randomness thing. Oh god, I'm in an MC uh, SMT dungeon again. God damn it! Two balises of Belial's meat has been found. Oh my god, I don't know about Belial. Ah. Uh. Let me do something fancy. Ah, uh, what? This not so boring. Oh, I guess I can't do anything. No. Oh, well, <laughs> it was this thing. It's stupid. Objective. 
Oh shit, now they're gonna die. See what's around here. Nothing. Oh, hello. the door but it seems to be locked from the inside oh great this guy again domestic shot oh wait that's just an attack okay Come from the smoke lines? Yes. But it's full of specters in there. Yes. Are you a specter? No. And who are you? Have you been saved by the queen? Or by Deedon? No. But, 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 you still know how to fight the specters? You could destroy them? Yes. Oh, that, that would be great. There's uh, specters in large cow sheds. Cow sheds? Uh, yes. Oh, there you go. You. Um, you're here at the metal farm set of Pento in the east of Zone 1. <laughs> Moo! <laughs> Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metallic rocks containing the cat without winding the cadavers. Now the metal of poor quality is guarded for the gravity will call the rest of purified process to create objects. Part of it is also that it creates and sent into other zones so you don't have object and soil as well, I suppose. It's an essential element, the first among the four elements. Because without metal, people would have nothing to walk on and they would sink and drown. There, and so there are specters in the large cow sheds. I must purify the mines first. Uh, yes, but the cow sheds aren't that big enough. It'd be good if you took care of them fast because the Queen's Inspector is going to arrive at any moment. So please, could you do the cow shed first? Alright. <gasps> Great, thank you, thank you so much. The cow shed's right over there to the right. They aren't big at all, you see, and it's going to be done super quickly. Okay. But for working over here in the smoke mines, at least you benefit from outside air. Why well, should I get attached to animals? Once you are, it gets difficult to put your hands inside. Oh, oh shit. What am I supposed to do? Oh, 
Oh, okay. These balls are heaps of processed metal which are going to be sent to other zones. They're a metallic. You're going to destroy the specters? Hurry up, we're expecting the queen's specter at any moment. It's important to pay close attention to the nutrition of the animals if you want high quality metal. Oh, look at him, he's so cute! Ah uh ah! -uh. Constant migraine, oh my god, that's a, that's an enemy. No, that's that's the attack? Okay, that's done. Hmm, really powerful attacks. Spectre left. <laughs> God damn it. The cow shed has been purified. Okay. Oh, hello? I'm really quiet, you pitiful bastard. No, oh, I guess. Has it been long since he went inside? I don't know. No, of course you know nothing. I should have known. He will eliminate the specters. How does he think himself capable of destroying those stupid phantoms? He thinks himself better than you, better than the queen. No, I don't think that. Shut it, I didn't ask for your opinion. You all think you're intelligent and more intelligent than the others, but you're all the same. In any case, it's hardly important. The phantoms that will race that conceited individual. Uh, you, th you think he won't? Of course not. Nobody here is capable of fighting the phantoms apart from the Queen's officers. If you listen to me more often, you would keep making fools of yourselves. But what did, 
Who's gonna destroy the fan cams? I could have done it, but you don't deserve it. Too bad for you, you'll just have to take care of your problems yourself. Oh, wait, please. I'm leaving now. I'm returning to Alma, at least the people there are polite. They don't constantly cut you off. But please don't. Goodbye. Get on my sight. Don't. No, I. I, I beg of you, get the fuck out of my way. Whoa! It's if you want to keep your position. Hello. Who is that person? You're alive? Yes. In the specters? The cow shit has been purified. Is that you? You must be very lucky. Who was that person? That was Deedon. He's the queen's inspector. You mean specter? No. The queen wouldn't employ a specter. He can't be one. But he's evil. I must destroy him. No, don't do that. He's an envoy of the queen. Uh, you'd better go complete your work in the smoke mines. Please. In any case, he's an alma. No one can get there without proper authorization. So please, return to the smoke mines. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Once you extracted everything from the carcasses, you slice them to pieces and eat the meat. Extracting scraps of metal from cows isn't what- Metal? Where did my job end? It's half of a cow. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's just that, okay. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, yeah, they said... They said the candles don't really work well in here. Abaddon's meat. What level am I? Level 3. Well, that's not a lot. Stop here. I'm just very tired like right now. I'm just I'm tired. So, and besides, I would I, I, I wasn't gonna finish this one stream anyway. So, that's that. See you next time. Hurry for longer. See ya. Sunday. Bye.